Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, look what I've just come across. This is uh, one of my earlier pieces of work. So you might recognize some of it if you watched any of my other videos. Uh, on the left hand side, the red cables, they were repairing some broken traces that were causing um, some issues with the dress lines. So I'm glad that they're all fixed. Oh, look up there! There's the uh, the installed capacitor. Must be a 220 microfarad, I think it was, to get rid of the uh, the faint white line down the middle of the Super Nintendo. And what's this? Well, there's actually two parts to this mess. The first one, this is a Super CIC, so it lets you play region, many region you want, really. It's also got a nice LED that I have half wired in. I'll need to finish that off at some point, replacing the one there ultimately. Um, and of course, yeah, the other part here was that we've got uh, little electrolytic radial capacitors. So they're actually riddled throughout this thing like a cancer. So we're going to go ahead and replace them with surface mounts because now I know how to install them pretty well. Although I will, I will say that electrolytic radials do seem to have a longer lifespan. But that's just going off the Mega Drive one. If you look at capacitors, surface mount capacitors from the same era, they're much worse. Whether that's because they were a newer emerging technology, I don't know. But anyway, uh, so yeah, so we're going to be recapping this board essentially and then it will uh, go up for sale. Off to greener pastures, hopefully someone will take care of it. Hasn't been doing much here, it's just been sitting on a shelf. So it's probably better that someone else gets a go. Gosh, look at that. Is that held down by blue tack? That's held down by blue tack. I'm going to get some uh, double sided tape for that. <laughs> it's amazing how far I've come in. I mean, this would have been about three years ago. Wow. Yeah, I've definitely improved a little. <laughs> Let's get on with it, shall we? First step removing all the capacitors. Well, here's a little video wrapping up on the uh, Super Nintendo that I, well, it was one of the earlier ones I recapped. So, now I'm recapping it again, or I have recapped it, and we've got uh, those 33 microfarad capacitors in that I was waiting on for so long. They're in pretty well. Yeah, the alignment's a bit off. That's fine. There's the uh, non-polar cap. And there's where one pad was lifted. Thankfully it could connect on the other side through a via. Which was very lucky. I'm actually short a 47 for one of the other Super Nintendos. This one's also got the uh, Super I... Super CIC. Yeah, that's it. Sitting under there. Uh, how easy does that come up? Oh, not too easily. Let's leave that. And, oh, this, uh, well, that's right, we should have a look, because that's the, uh, no, oh, no, bloody cables in the way. Never mind. This is the one that had the, uh, traces repaired with, uh, John Madden 93. Way back in the day. So I'll be letting it go into the wild. Hopefully someone else will... Have some fun with it. Should last a while now that everything's been changed. I think I've even put in a new voltage regulator. No, I didn't. Well, I could have. <laughs> Can you fuse him? What do you want from me? Ah, huh. well, as it turns out, the uh, the front board wasn't actually connected, so that's fine. Um, as you can see there, there's the. Uh, what do I use? PIC 16F630. How is that what I use those for? I think I ran out of those. I think I was using them for something else, something Mega Drive related. Anyway, uh, there's how the chip wires up. There's the original wire trace repair. There's the uh, 
vertical bar removal capacitor. I think there's also one on the other side of the voltage regulator, which is why I didn't replace it, because I couldn't be bothered. Yep. But there you go, there's the uh, CIC there. There's the Super CIC, which hijacks a bunch of things and then runs something up from this clock and two PPUs get involved somehow. It's all beyond me, I'm not an electrical engineer, but, but there you have it. That's how it all comes together. And depending on your region, the LED will be either orange, uh, green, or red, I believe. Beautiful. I mean, not that good, but I'll put a bit of duct tape under it to stop it shorting out on things. That might help. Anyway, into the sunset you go. Huh, the, uh, the wire just came off and I need to resolder that. Whoops. Thanks for watching. <laughs>